My name is Wayne and I'm from AISP. Today we are here for Singapore Cyber Day, where we invite a cyber professional to share about his or her experience in their field. Today, I am joined by Mr. Stephen Sim, who is the Assistant Vice President and Global CISO of PSA International Private Limited, and is also representing ISACA Singapore Chapter as their Vice President. Hi everyone. So Stephen, so why have you joined the cyber profession? I joined cyber security because of the keen interest in tinkering with systems, finding root causes and solving problems. My first job was not with PSA, but with NUS. I set up the NUS Computer Emergency Response Team, or NUS CERT, and had to deal with different types of cybersecurity incidents and to solve them. It gives me immense satisfaction in solving incidents, just like how Sherlock Holmes would go about solving mysteries. As I advanced in my career, I went into different areas of cybersecurity work. Not just incident handling, but into intrusion analysis, computer forensics and vulnerability assessment, and penetration testing, policy writing, risk management, and running cybersecurity improvement programs. So all this cybersecurity work gives me a sense of pride and fulfillment. It provides me with self-esteem and helps me to fulfill actualization and transcendence needs. Think of cybersecurity work as the digital equivalent of doctors and detectives. If you have a passion for crime scene investigations, cybersecurity should be up in your list of possible careers. It gives me the greatest fulfillment when I can see not only the enterprise grow, but also the team that I have mentored grow and achieve better results in our bid to protect an important part of Singapore's information infrastructure. Thank you. Okay, so Stephen, you have, I mean, as you have shared, you have a vast experience in different different parts of cyber security. So um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, about your ed educational background and how you got to where you are today? In fact, I did not take up computer science in college. What I did was I joined the Computer Appreciation Club in JC. I think that having interest and passion is key. Uh, critical thinking and analytical skills are important to the cybersecurity career. So for me, for myself, uh, taking up a computing degree at NUS definitely helped. Although at my time, there was no information security focus area yet. I later on went on to take up a master's in computing focusing on information security modules. I continued to upskill myself by go further taking up uh, professional courses and certifications and maintaining my CPEs or continuing professional education credit, which also helped me immensely in keeping up to speed with the latest best practices in the industry. This includes uh, achieving ISACA certifications, um, such as um, CISA or CISA on audit, CISM or CISM on security management, C-RISC, which is a uh, risk management, and C-Guide, which is on enterprise governance, and CDBSE, which is on data privacy. Not just on those areas, not just in those areas, but I also undertook um, technical certifications, uh, SENSE certifications, including uh, GPPA for parameter protection, GCIH for incident handling, GICSP for industrial control security, GIM for reverse engineering malware, as well as many other courses in forensics and application security, etc. Cybersecurity is about continuously uh, upskilling yourself because the knowledge keeps being renewed. However, what I want to stress is that while skills and subjects are important, what is even more important is your passion, which drives you towards actualization and transcendence needs. If you have the passion, it will motivate you to find out more and self-learn. Google is your best friend, really. Thank you. So um, for my next question, um, for young students outside of the curriculum, 
what can they do if they want to know more about the cyber profession? Do you have any specific information to share? I would recommend three key areas of focus. First and foremost, be willing to get your hands dirty. Google for information out there. The information is everywhere, right? Watch YouTube tutorials, attend online courses. Many of them come free. Download virtual machines and test out security tools. It's a safe environment that will not get you into trouble. Secondly, join one or more special interest groups. This could be the ISACA local student chapter or computer appreciation club, etc. Participate in security competitions such as capture the flag and bug bounties. A word of caution, do not go and hack into enterprises because what is most valued in the cybersecurity profession above passion is integrity. Always be above board and be ethical. It is a crime to hack into an enterprise when it is not an official engagement granted with the organization's consent. Last but not least, find a mentor early in your career so that a mentor can help guide you in your career advancement and avoid pitfalls. I am just a LinkedIn away and I'm definitely keen to hear your thoughts. I will come any of you to ping me up on LinkedIn if you wish to find out more. After all, cybersecurity is a team sport and I strongly believe that we are only as strong as the ecosystem and all of us need to work together. Thank you. Okay, so for my last question, um, can you just tell me one piece of advice you would give to young budding uh, cybersecurity professionals? Okay, the one piece of advice I would give um, over and beyond what I've already shared is that don't just look at the red side of things. What do I mean by that? In cybersecurity, there's always the red and blue, right? You hear about, people talk about the red team and the blue team. The red side of things refer to hacking, testing out weaknesses in systems, which appears to be more sexy compared to the blue side, which is on protection, protection, and protection. Think about what Sun Tzu said. Sun Tzu said, know your enemies, know yourself, a hundred battles, a hundred a hundred victories. So it is important not just to look at the red side of things, the blue side of things is also important. What enterprises need are professionals who can balance business needs with security requirements. There is no hundred percent security. So it is very important to know where to draw the line so as to achieve business objectives. Therefore, my point is that you need to think for the business and you need to think about how you can relate technical jargon and translate that into business understandable layman terminology. Because what the business look get is the risk to the business and being able to translate the technical risk into business risk will help you greatly in your career advancement thank you okay so we have come to the end of today's training session with uh, mr steven sim i'd like to thank mr steven for joining me today and i hope that the audience has enjoyed listening to this interview my pleasure so just one note, the ISP will be uploading more videos and do keep a lookout for these videos and you students can register for the live Q&A session from the 1st to the 4th of December from 10 to 10.30am. 10 and you will also receive a certificate of participation for joining the live Q&A sessions. So from us at ASP, we would like to say thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.